Hello friends, in this video I show you how to make a soldering iron with quick momentary heating. The circuit is a simple step-down power supply unit. The secondary winding of transformer is closed through soldering tip, which is made of finer wire than the coil itself. Of course, short circuit the tip will be heated. As components donor, I use my old electric transformers on 60 watt. Disassemble them for parts. I have developed a compact PCB and assembled unit on the new board. Before installing the parts, even the new ones, it is desirable to check them. I used transistor tester. Power transistors are soldered to side of conductors. Can use transistors 13003, 13005 or 13007. They can be removed from non-working motherboards. To make small soldering iron, I don't use core from board of electric transformer. In search of another core, I found an old notebook adapter. His power cord has a thickening. This is noise filter. It is made of ferrite in the shape of a torus. Such a core is quite suitable for my purpose. However, I do not know its characteristics, so can't calculate it in advance the number of winding turns. But this problem is easily solved. Just unreal primary winding of electric transformer and reel up all the wire on the core. Preferable to do winding not on the bare core and isolate with suitable material. The secondary winding includes only one turn of double wire of 3.5 mm. Although the wire is in the varnish insulation. Use additional insulation, for example fiberglass or, or thermal shrinkage tube. Fixed pulse transformer with epoxy resin. Let's look again at the scheme. It is a push-pull oscillator. Diode bridge rated at 1 ampere. The transistors should be set to the radiator, but they should be isolated from it. Before final assembly, check it, but not forget about safety. We must include in the circuit a lamp, as shown in the figure. If it's ok, remove lamp. The housing of the soldering iron is desirable to make of hard, heat-resistant material, such as hard rubber or fiberglass. But really, in the housing shouldn't be too high temperature, and I think plastic suitable too. I used box of chewing gum. I drilled a few rolls of holes for natural ventilation. As the holders, I used brass context. The soldering tip itself could be from of industrial soldering iron. It is probably made of stainless steel or shaped by your own from copper wire, about 1 or 2 millimeters. During the heating, device may consume up to 80 watt, despite the fact that the power supply capacity of, of approximately 50 or 60 watt. But after the warm-up, it will consume no more than 35 or 40 watt. Soldiering iron is activated by pressing a button. I use the small one, but preferably use other types designed for the mains voltage and current of 1 amperes. It's ready. Work with soldering iron is quite convenient. It is lightweight and ready to use in just 8 or 10 seconds. Of course, if you change PCB size to more narrow and long, it will become more accustomed to the hands. The assembly of the working soldering iron from scrap materials took only 6 hours. Under video, you can find useful links. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.